Hey comic book community, Lovebox Love Affair here. I have an unboxing for you today. It is two CBCS sketch covers. Now, these have been in process for almost one year. So I got these at Baltimore Comic Con, which was October of 2021. I submitted them through CBCS, which I don't usually go through CBCS. I go through CGC, uh, but CGC didn't have a presence there. They had facilitators, but I didn't want to deal with it. So I went with CBCS. And so that was October. In December, those books were checked into their system. So about a month and a half, a little bit over a month since from Baltimore Comic Con. And then now it is the very end of August. So we're talking about 10 months from the time I got the sketch to the time that these are in my hands. I am not excited for this haul. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I am not excited and it's a whole story. So let me get into the reason why. So one thing is for certain, CBCS does know how to package their books. Uh, it's a different type of packaging than CGC, but hey, it still does the trick and you don't get a whole lot of those corrugated uh, cardboard that you don't know what to do with after the fact. But um, these are the two sketches. So why I'm not excited about this haul? Uh, it's because I'm not excited about the art on these covers. So I commissioned two artists to do some blank sketch covers for me on Friday of the con. I was there all three days. So uh, one was Pop Mahan and the other one was Koi Fan. And I was excited for both, but to be quite honest, I'm not big like followers of those artists. I, I, I tend to like what they do, Pop more so than Koi. But, um, and I apologize if, I, if I'm mispronouncing. Um, so, I I gave my sketch covers to those artists. I was like very early. I was um, early admission, got in there, got on their list early. And Pop got my stuff done pretty quickly. And he didn't quite do what I wanted in terms of the direction, but I still like it. I still liked it in the moment. Koi, Koi on the other hand, kept on taking sketches and commissions and doing those over mine, which was early in his list. He was doing ones that people came up to his booth and they're like, can you do a sketch? And he's like, okay. And he would just start doing it. And so he was jumping around in line. I found it disrespectful. Uh, if you're not going to do my sketch, just let me know. But uh, I was waiting and it wasn't until three o'clock on Sunday that he finished the book and it felt rushed. So you will see what that is like in a minute. So I'm going to open these up and show you what I got. All right. That was a lot of bubble wrap. I appreciate the protectiveness though. So the first book, and I, and I showed these in picture form when I did my Baltimore Comic Con haul video back in October, November. But the first book I commissioned, and I'm pretty happy with it, is Nova number one from Pop Mahan. So I asked for Nova blasting, and what I was expecting was Nova blast, like the, his legs dis disappear and he blasts. Uh, this is a blast from the hand, which whatever. Uh, I thought this was pretty cool. He made good use of the space. I don't have a Nova sketch cover, so I, I found this to be really nice. So I'm gonna talk price. Uh, well, first off, this is an art label, so I did not have to get it graded. I was just there for the art. Um, I paid $100 for this sketch, which I found to be really worth it. it pretty decent price for an artist. Um, really nice. Uh, it, and I'm glad I didn't get it graded because the back of the sketch cover has some indents. You know, it is what it is. But I, I, I really just picked it up for the artwork. So pretty cool Nova sketch cover. Now comes the point of contention I have with this haul. Koi fams. Archangel on my X-Force, Uncanny X-Force number one blank cover. This is the one where I dropped it off on Friday. I thought he would have time. Uh, he should have because he kept on accepting everyone else's commissions and doing theirs first. And I got this. Um, not my favorite sketch. I'll be quite honest. And I try to keep positive on my channel. I don't like disparaging people. And that's not my intent with this. But... My point of contention is he had time to really work on this and he didn't even start it until Sunday. I saw it sitting there. 
and he was just starting it when I went to check on him kind of covertly to see if I, I could tell if he was working on it. Because I almost went by and said, mm, I'm going to pull this because you haven't even started it. So I'm, I'm going to go home. Uh, I was tired of waiting around. But he eventually got to it. It has some splatters on it, which is okay, I guess. It depends on the style. The wings look really... Mm, a little shoddy. Um, I, I just feel like the detail here is, is not what I was hoping for. So I am disappointed. I'm rarely disappointed by artists because I try to do my due diligence and find artists and examples of what they do. His examples online, I liked. And actually, he, sh he had other examples of stuff out. And I thought he did a good job. Um, this one is not my favorite. And I saw other archangels that he did that I really liked. So... Uh, why is this in my collection? <laughs> uh, it is what it is. Um, unfortunately, he was expensive, and I did bite the bullet, and I should not have. It was $250 for this. And not every artist is that expensive. Some are more. I mean, we all know, like, artists like Ryan Otley is exploding right now. His sketches are through the roof. But, uh, so this is a fraction of, of that price, but... I didn't appreciate how rushed he was on this, and he really won it. So, in the end, it is what it is. Uh, I do like my Nova sketch that much better. Let me grab that. All right, my Nova has a little bit more detail than uh, than this this one right here. A little bit more in line with what I was looking for. I kind of settled, to be quite honest, in terms of. Of this and and I should just have gone with my gut. There was another artist there that I really um, uh, Alex Soviet, which I was really thinking about, but I balked at his price. It was about three hundred and fifty dollars for a sketch, but I would have rather had that than this. Um, he, Alex is going to be back in Baltimore next year or this 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 year, just a, a couple months. Uh, Romita's there. A bunch of artists are there. That I'm really excited about more artists for that that are of my interest than last year. So, I think COVID kind of kept people away this year. Um, it seems like the talent is 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 pretty big. So I might have to really pick and choose. So, these are my sketches. That's my story. Uh, I guess the moral of the story is make sure you are really into the artists that you're commissioning. And that is what I'm going to try to do from now on. Really, and I have up until recently with this. Uh, picking those artists that really mean something to you, that have a special place in your heart, and that not just getting a sketch cover for the sake of getting a sketch cover. Thanks for watching. Thanks for bearing with me with, with, with these books. Um, would love to know what you think. If, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that thumbs up if you like what you see, even if you don't like the sketch, if you like the video. And uh, feel free to leave me a comment down below, and I will see you next time. All right, thanks, comic fam. Bye-bye.